Hey, so the other day, I needed to really find out what was going on with um, the cholera issue. So I asked one of, you know, our reporters um, at the start, because, you know, I'm not on air, so some things worry me, and then I'm like, where do I get the information? I said, with this cholera issue, I mean, how is Umo dealing? How is Kayola dealing? How is, how, what's happening in Kibera, Olympic? I was told, I your story I said I beg your pardon I said no 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 there's places where that that lorry of clean water comes now let me say this and get as angry as you want so long as you make a decision after you're done being angry that something must change karma has no menu you get served what you deserve and I know you're sitting there saying you can't say that. You know, there are people who are so sick of shush. Where does our water come from? From that lorry of clean water. But when that lorry of clean water was not transporting water, what was it transporting? It was a honeysucker. Which means at some point, the water that was received in some parts of this city, Kulichnanuanga Maji, seriously, was mixed with some feces. Do you understand what happens when we allow the cartels to take root and we think we're making money because we charge the people of Embakasi and Umo and Kayole and Isli crazy money to buy a jerry can of water? Guess where cholera became an issue? We need to get over ourselves and start demanding the right things. Let me tell you why I'm embarrassed. Because the cholera story was big because of where it hit and who it hit. But if this story was happening in... Nyayo, Nyayo high rise. It would have been a story for a day. So you know what? It's a good thing what happened, happened. We need to reevaluate our priorities because half the time we make dubious decisions because we think it's not going to happen to us. I've checked. Kibirakosa, Nakayole, Napokoma, Naumo. Your cholera is five star, five star, wadosi, wadosi, and hence it became a story. Your clean water truck, you know the one that you enabled somebody to starve people of water from their taps in Nairobi so you could make a killing by selling them water? Guess what that truck had before? Drink up. <laughs>